Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing with the BlackBerry series and today we are going to be installing the BlackBerry UEM server version 12.19 quick fix one. We're going to install it from scratch so it's not an upgrade. The upgrade steps are basically the same however we are just going to be performing a full install this time around. Okay, let's get straight into it. So it's for you to install BlackBerry UEM server, there are some pre-installation and pre-upgrade tasks that we need to complete. So BlackBerry UEM server requires Java. Um, it also requires Microsoft SQL. That is basically it, really. Um, I do have another video where I talk about the requirements as well as the ports and Java. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go over and watch that video. Now, for um, the UEM server upgrades, so as I mentioned, there are a couple of pre-upgrade um, or pre-installation tasks that you need to complete. So if we go over to docs.blackberry.com and select 12.19 as a version for BlackBerry UEM and then go over to the documentation, there is a pre-installation and upgrade task um, documentation. And the first thing we need to do here is to configure permissions for service accounts. If if the service account is different from the um, admin account, so I'm using the default admin account because this is a test environment, so it's a VM powered by Hyper-V on my computer, and I don't need to do anything in terms of uh, the service account. So the second thing that we need to do is set an environment variable uh, for the Java location. So we need to install Java and then set that environment variable for the Java location. So UEM 12.19 requires JRE 17. Um, and this is what we are going to download and install. So here on the other side, I've got here opened the BlackBerry UEM compatibility matrix. So the BlackBerry UEM comp compatibility matrix gives information about which operating systems are compatible, which which SQL servers are compatible, etc. So here. Um, I am using Microsoft uh, Windows 12 uh, 19 and it is fully supported uh, as you can see here. So you do have other other versions here like Windows Server 2022 which is also supported. Um, if we go over here to SQL Server we can then see uh, which SQL servers are supported. Um, 2022, 2019, um, 2017, we've got limited, um, or oh, it, it is supported as well, and then we've got limited support here for 12, uh, 2014. Now, let's go back down here into um, Java, and if we look here at the Java requirements, so it does say here that JRE 17 latest update version is supported for UEM 1219. If you are a business, really, you need to pay for a Java license. There are options out there, like, for example, OpenJDK that you can use. Um, it's completely free, um, and for corporate use, you don't have to pay. I'm going to use it for personal use, and then I'm going to delete it anyway, so I'm not purchasing a license for Java, but uh, if you are a business, you might want to get yourself licensed. So I go over to the Java website or the Oracle website. Make sure that I'm on the website here, so as you can see, um, uh, oracle.com java and i'm going to accept this and then i'm going to look here for the latest version Let's download here the latest java available and we are going to use here microsoft windows um, i'm going to download the uh, installer and I can get the installer from here. You can also download the zip file or you can download the MSI installer as well. So this will be the exe file that I'm downloading. So that is currently downloading. And at the same time, actually, whilst this is going, I, I'm going to download um, BlackBerry UEM server. So to download BlackBerry UEM server, so I, all, all I need to do is go over to the BlackBerry uh, website. So I can search here for BlackBerry My Account, for example. 
this will then provide me the results and the first one here for me to log into my account I have to mention that you need to be registered to be able to log in to my account so I already have an account that I'm going to use to log in So that logs me into my account and from here I want to then go over to the software downloads and I'm going to download Microsoft UEM server. It asks me here to select the version but the version that I want is already here so I want version 12.19 quick fix 1. Then click on download and this will open just another page here and it will shortly initiate the download so whilst that is downloading I can check my Java then so I'm gonna open here the Java downloads to install I'm just gonna double click on it and this will start Java installer Java is now successfully installed. Just going to click on close. We are going to set the environment variable. And how do we do that? We look back at the documentation. And the documentation has step-by-step -step guides on how to set the environment variable for the, for the Java location. So here we go. So what we need to do here is open Windows Advanced System Box Settings. And how do we do that? We can search here. Well, the easiest way to do it is to search for Control Panel. And open up Control Panel. And going to select this by large icons and on the control panel what you need to do now is click here on system there is another way to get there but this is actually pretty easy then click here on advanced system properties so what we need to do now is click on environment variables so we click here on environment variables then we are going to click on new uh, system Var um, variables and then click on new so if we go here to system variables then click on new and the variable and this is the information that we have to set here which is very simple variable name we're going to type in bb java home so i'm just going to copy and paste and then the variable value we're going to type the path for the java runtime environment so variable name there you go bb java home variable um, value we are going to set this to the java path and basically we're just going to browse here to the c drive and then we're going to go to program files java jdk 17 and click on OK, click on OK, and that is done. OK, and then in the system variables, we need to select path and then add it again. So if you go here to path, click on add it. And then the path, if the path doesn't include the Java bin folder, click new and then add basically copy this go back and yeah we're just gonna add it here to the path because the bin folder is not here so click on new paste click OK okay so once that is done the um, step number eight here so we need to move the Java home bin folder up to the top of the list that is step number eight that we have to do so basically on step number eight what we want to do is click here on edit again and then the bin folder we're going to move it up all the way up to there click on OK click on OK click on OK and the Java runtime path is set 
So we are finished with the Java home runtime and we are going to next install BlackBerry UEM server. I'm going to open here the uh, download folder and I'm going to extract everything here. So we have extracted the files. Now there is this file here, which is the UEM 1219 extractor. We're just going to double click on it. And this will extract all of the files necessary to install UEM onto C BlackBerry UEM by default, but you can change it. Um, not going to launch the auto run yet after unzipping, but I'm going to just click on unzip here and it's going to just unzip everything onto the C drive BlackBerry UEM folder. Okay, so the extraction is complete, then we're going to close this off, navigate over to C drive, BlackBerry folder, BlackBerry UEM, 1219, and here we've got the setup file to start installing. Click on setup. This will start BlackBerry UEM installation. So just give it a few seconds here. Um, I've just double clicked here on setup. A um, pop-up window will appear and this will show me the progress. Okay, so choose your language. Uh, we're gonna choose English. Um, it starts up here. So it's preparing to set up the application. Okay, so BlackBerry UEM, I'm gonna select next here. So now I'm gonna select the region um, again here. So I'm gonna put here, um, so I'm currently in the UK. So I'm just gonna go over here to English, United Kingdom, and I'm gonna accept then next. Um, and now um, I've got the options here to select primary components, management console, and device connectivity. I'm going to select everything, although this is only four gig machine for testing, but you can install separate components on different servers. So for example, if I only wanted primary components on this server, I could just select primary components and then I would install the management console on a different machine and, or, uh, and the device connectivity components on another machine. So I can have a BCN, for example, for device connectivity, but I'm just going to select everything for this machine then select next and then it is it's going to check the uh, installation requirements check in progress this could take a few minutes so we're gonna wait and as i mentioned the other thing here it's the sql database it will install on its own so it says here that microsoft.net framework for 4.5 was not found on this computer and it will be installed by the setup application so you don't have to install it beforehand so i'm going to select next so i'm going to select here create a new blackberry um, uem database and i'm going to install and use microsoft sql server 2017 express on this computer I'm just going to select install and use microsoft sql I'm going to select next um, installation folders. I'm going to leave them as default, but you might want to change that. And also the log folder, you might want to change that. I'm going to leave as it is for default. The folder doesn't exist. The, do you want to create it? Yes, I do. Here I'm going to put in the, um, uh, the password for the service account. Select next and then click on install and this will now install blackberry uem so i am going to click on next right here and i've got the links here to the management console as well as to the self-service so i can export these um, links to uh, or addresses onto a um, text file so if i click close export console addresses to a file and I am just gonna save this over here on the desktop save 
and the links will be saved on the desktop. Now, um, this is a 4 gig uh, machine, so um, it's uh, very low on resources. However, it still will work. So if I now click here on Start, uh, you can see here that I've got SQL Server 2017 installed, and I've got here a folder for the BlackBerry Unified Endpoint Management, which will allow me also to access the console. If I don't want to go through that, I can just click here on the console's URL and then com and then copy the um, URL addresses and paste them onto Google Chrome. Um, for example, I can just select the link here and then right click, copy and then paste it. So click here on start, go to BlackBerry uh, UEM endpoint uh, management and click on the console. This will open the BlackBerry admin console. So gonna select here to open up it says that your connection is not private but that is completely fine I trust this connection okay right so this here is now the UEM admin console running from my machine and the username will be admin and the password will be password all in lowercase so I'm going to sign in for the first time okay so once you log in for the first time it's going to ask where is your server location so in this case I'm going to select here United Kingdom click on next so here it requires an organization name I'm gonna just call it scrambled tech guy now we need the SRP and we need the SRP key I already have one so I'm going to enter here if you did not have one when you log into when you log into um, my account you will have the opportunity to uh, request one I'll, I'll, I'll not go through it now but I'll make another video showing you how you can get your SRP address as well as your auth key so for now, like I mentioned, as I already have one, I'm going to enter my uh, my SRP ID and um, auth key here, and enter it here. Okay, so I've got the SRP ID, I've got my SRP key, and click on submit. Okay, so after clicking submit, you'll see this message saying configuring BlackBerry UEM services. It may take some time to configure the services. Okay, so it is now, um, so UEM is now configured and up and running. So the first screen, welcome to BlackBerry UEM, which devices you will be managing. So you can manage BlackBerry devices, Android and Chrome OS, iOS and Mac OS, as well as Windows devices. So Click next here to ask you how you are going to configure your Android Enterprise. At this moment, I'm not going to go through this configuration, but I will be doing a configuration later down the line, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then you've got some other steps here, such as download signed CSR certificate from BlackBerry. I'm going to skip it for now, and I'll show you how to do this as well on another video. And here we've got um, your security in your organization. If you wanted to leave it by default, if it's medium security or high security, I'll leave it by default for now. Um, and then uh, this is something that we can configure later. I'm going to select here not to show this at stop uh, start up again. So these are just uh, uh, quick screens. And then this is what the dashboard looks like. And this is it for the uh, BlackBerry UEM server installation. So, yeah, this is it really. Um, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and please do subscribe to the channel as well so you are updated with the latest developments in the BlackBerry UEM space. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.